Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In 2007, Bell Helicopter and Boeing officially introduced the long-awaited B-22 Osprey. A unique tilt-rotor military aircraft with both vertical and short takeoff and landing capabilities. The Marine version, the MV-22, quickly became one of the organization's primary modes of transportation. As it can carry troops and equipment, to almost any location while operating from even small Navy vessels. Unfortunately, the MV-22 has one of the highest operation costs at roughly $60,000 per hour. This is due to many factors, including fuel, total flight hours before retirement, pilot training, and maintenance. Indeed, the V-22 and its variants are well known for being maintenance intensive, much more so than standard helicopters with similar capabilities. Part of the reason for this expense is that the development of the V-22 took so long. Indeed, the collaboration between Boeing and Bell Helicopter began back in 1989, but the aircraft didn't become operational until 2007. All this development time, including changes to the design to allow foldable wings, prop rotors, and tail must be factored into that final cost. That said, all of these improvements have contributed to the overall operational success of the aircraft. Thanks to its ability to fold various components, the Osprey can reduce its total width from 84 feet to just 18 and a half feet. Such a capability can greatly benefit storing the aircraft aboard tightly packed aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. What's more, the MV-22 has proven extremely capable and very popular among the men and women who utilize the aircraft on a daily basis. For instance, Marines aboard ship are known to simply back the Osprey up against the aircraft elevator, lower the cargo bay doors, and practice fast rope exercises without having to actually take off. Such ingenuity can go a long way toward reducing those hourly operational costs. Ultimately, the V-22 and its variants are necessary for the movement of troops from ship to shore and back again. The Osprey's ability to carry up to 32 troops, or 20,000 pounds of internal cargo, while boasting a higher top speed than most helicopters make it an essential part of the United States military's overall mission. The B-22 and its variants are considered more maintenance intensive than most helicopters. 
accessing the engines, which are located on the far end of the wings, typically requires the removal of all three rotors, which boast a diameter of 38 feet in all. The Rolls-Royce T406 AD400 turboprop engines produce 6,150 horsepower each, which translates to as much as 15,000 revolutions per minute, given the right conditions. As a seagoing aircraft, it's necessary to carefully clean all the components of the V-22 on a regular basis, as this will help prevent corrosion from salt in the air. The rotors must also be carefully inspected and adjusted to ensure they are fully in the best possible condition. In 2018, the U.S. military was able to streamline the maintenance procedures associated with the V-22. Where the aircraft originally had more than 70 different variations, maintenance teams hope to reduce that number to just five by 2030. This will make upkeeps and repairs infinitely easier from a logistical standpoint and further help cut down on the cost per flight hour price tag. Over the years, the Osprey has become the best example of tilt rotor aircraft and what they can do. Depending on the situation, the V-22 can hover, climb, or engage in forward flight at speeds approaching 350 miles per hour. On top of that, the aircraft can easily extend its already impressive 2,000 nautical mile range by engaging in mid-air refueling. So while it may be expensive to operate, the Osprey is not likely to disappear anytime soon. Indeed, the United States Marines have fully embraced vertical and short takeoff and landing aircraft over the past decade, as they have proven integral to modern amphibious assault operations. Cost per hour is something all militaries have to consider. Even though the United States has the largest defense budget in the world by far, it must remain cognizant of which aircraft cost the most to fly. By far, the most expensive is the E-4B Advanced Airborne Command Post. Known as the Night Watch aircraft, the E-4 is a heavily modified Boeing 747 that costs a whopping $159,000 per hour to operate. There are four of these aircraft in all, and each is ready to function as the National Airborne Operations Center at any given time. It is designed to survive electromagnetic pulse attacks using all analog flight instruments to prevent disruption. What's more, the E-4 is designed to stay aloft for a full week in the event of an emergency, partnering with two fully loaded tankers for the duration of the flight. The interior of the E-4 is a combination of both state-of-the-art and antiquated equipment.
By utilizing primarily non-digital components, the aircraft can avoid suffering electronic attacks, hacking, and more. Its middle deck contains a conference room for up to nine people and space for a battle staff in the event of a war. Lower decks contain water supply tanks, electrical power, communications array, and more. Altogether, the aircraft has space for about 108 mission personnel, many of whom will focus on coordinating responses with allies should the United States suffer some cataclysmic event. Despite its use of decades-old equipment, the E-4 is a highly advanced and capable aircraft designed to achieve multiple aviation extremes. Given its mission, it's hardly surprising that the aircraft costs so much to operate per hour. The second most expensive aircraft in the United States Air Force's arsenal is the famed B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. At just over $130,000 per hour to fly, the B-2 was designed in the 1970s and 80s when the Cold War was still ongoing. By the time it was introduced in 1994, the need for a heavy tactical stealth bomber was more doubtful. Overall, the total program cost per aircraft was $2.13 billion in 1997, with a total of 21 planes being built. And despite this cost, the B-2 remains an extremely impressive aircraft. It boasts a flying wing design with a total wingspan of 172 feet, more than double the length of the fuselage. It can reach speeds of around 630 miles per hour and boasts an incredible range of nearly 7,000 miles. Its internal weapons bays can carry up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance, including a wide range of smart, penetrative, and even nuclear bombs. All B-2 Spirits are named after states or famous locations, with the Spirit of America being the last one produced. Of course, the thing that truly sets the B-2 Spirit apart from other aircraft is its unique stealth technology. This streamlines the plane and minimizes its radar cross-section. This is further enhanced by the sharp angles of the fuselage and wings, which lack the vertical surfaces to send back radar waves to enemy sensors. Its stealth capabilities include acoustic dampening, electronic countermeasures, and anti-reflective paint. Since the aircraft flies at altitudes of around 50,000 feet, its dark gray color helps it blend in with the surrounding sky, preventing visual identification. Despite ballooning production and maintenance costs, the B-2 remains a symbol of the United States military's technological ingenuity and overall formidability. Other aircraft known for their high cost per hour ratings are the C-5 Galaxy, the B-52, and the F-35. Clearly, operational costs are not a direct reflection of the age, type, or size of the aircraft.
As technology continues to advance, aircraft manufacturers may find new ways to cut costs. Until then, the mission must come first. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.